Um, I mean, this number, uh, point number six kind of gets into what you've previously said about learning to you know, think critically. But you say, um, develop your critical thinking skills. It's okay if you haven't learned this by now, but understand that all organizations value this. Absolutely. Um, let me offer uh, just a couple of little sort of, sort of vignettes about that. Um, one of them from my very first uh, big corporate job. Uh, when I joined the airline business in 1984, uh, shortly after uh, retooling in business school, mm -hmm. um, I, was, I went to work for a company that was um, in a turnaround situation. This was an, a, a small airline that was, a, in a figurative sense, uh, heading towards the ground financially. Mm -hmm. They brought in a new, a new CEO, and he was all about critical thinking. And he had a very elegant two-word shorthand for critical thinking skills, ask why. And he knew that we could not transform this company without changing some of the way that everyone in the company, from frontline employees to senior management, thought about the business. And so his shorthand of ask why was that you, we were always going to exercise some measure of critical thinking skills. Are we doing things the right way? Is there a different way to do things? Is there a better way to do things? And that's really what we're talking about. And it, so that's story number one. Story number two uh, is I've been asked in the past um, specifically, and sometimes I muse about this because it pops into my head, if someone in, 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 in the course of this interview or when I'm walking out of, the, out of the building today, if somebody were to stop me and say, Rob, you teach in, uh, you taught in 28 business schools last year in Europe, in the United States, South America. Um, you've taught in all these schools. You've had 30 years of experience as a guest lecturer. You've seen a lot of students. What do you wish they had more of? What do you think they're, what do you think they're not learning? Without hesitation, they're not learning enough critical thinking skills. And so that we're clear, you know, you might wonder, well, what is Rob? What do I mean by critical? I really mean the ability to, when you're given a business problem or something to analyze or you're given a report or you're given some data, that you would look at that data, that you would, that you would undertake the analysis, always wondering whether you know, your source information is right, what are the assumptions, what are the biases that might exist and things. It, it, it's, it, it's really a lot like Critical thinking to me, it always, when I started get, being aware of it sort of as a, as a, as a way to organize uh, our, our, our thought processes, um, it always struck me as a little bit like the scientific method. You know, when I was in fourth grade, um, I was first exposed to the scientific method. Uh, and, you know, my fourth grade teacher said, you know, here's how it is, you know, you're, 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 given, you're given a problem uh, and you propose a hypothesis this way or that way, and you go and gather some data, and the data either reinforce or, or contradict the hypothesis, and you go on. It's sort of like that. And so in a sense, it's really, that doesn't strike me as all that hard an idea, but how many times in my career have I been in a situation where someone has failed to use the most basic sort of critical thinking skills to analyze a problem, has overlooked you know, some enormous pile of data or has taken a report and not pushed back and the report has turned out to be you know, hugely flawed. Yeah. Company makes some decisions based on flawed data and it costs them a lot of money. Yeah. So critical thinking is really super important. Gotcha.